Hey everybody, welcome, welcome back to the channel. AJ here and in today's video, I'm gonna show you three different ways to set up your out of office or your automatic replies for your email. We're gonna look at using Microsoft Outlook, Outlook on the web, and of course the mail app built into Windows 10. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you really wanna supercharge how you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. With that being said, let's jump into this. The first program we're gonna look at is Microsoft Outlook because this is the most commonly used program and I'm gonna show you two ways to get to your out of office or your automatic replies. The first way and the way I use it most commonly is scrolling up to the top here where it says search and typing in the word out of office or automatic reply. You can see as I start typing in out of office, the little action that pops up at the top is automatic replies and we're simply gonna open that up. Next, the little dialog box is gonna pop up and we can choose to do not send automatic replies. That's the default and that means that when you're using a your computer and you're at work and you're not away, that people aren't gonna get random automatic replies from you. The option beneath that is actually to send automatic replies. And this is great for when you're on holidays or you're taking some time away, or you just, you could be at a conference for a few days and you wanna let people know, hey, I'm gonna be away from the computer, so my responses are delayed. So we're gonna turn on send automatic replies. We're gonna turn on the option of only send during this time. And this is where you can set the time frame of how long you're away for and how long you want the automatic replies to be on for. We're gonna actually turn this on from today at 9 a.m. And this is gonna end at the 18th of June or the end of the week on Friday at 5 p.m. Down the bottom here, you can actually customize what your message says and how it looks. It is set by default to a small font size of, tw of seven. I actually always recommend making that a little bit bigger to make it easier for the people to read when they get your response. And you can see here, I've just said, hi there, thank you for your email, I'll be away. I'm gonna change this to Monday because we've got an extra long weekend. I'll be away Monday the 14th of June to Friday the 18th of June. Email replies will be delayed. Thank you and my name. So here we can simply hit okay. And what you're gonna see is in your Outlook, a little banner is gonna appear and it says automatic replies are being sent from this account. You can, if you've returned to work early or you've made a mistake, you can simply hit the option to turn off and that will turn off your automatic replies. Or if it's not a mistake, it's actually just a good reminder letting you know that, hey, you have actually set your automatic replies, so you're now good to go on holidays and not worry about your email. The second way to access your automatic replies is by scrolling over to the file section. And here under your account settings, you have the option of automatic replies. We're gonna open that up and the same dialog box is going to appear. One thing I wanna call out very quickly here is that down the bottom, you have the option of rules. Rules basically let you customize what happens to your emails while you're away. So when we go at a rule, a great example of this could be your boss knows that you're actually at a conference and he still wants you to be contactable. So you could actually say that every time your boss messages you, you could say from and put in your, your boss's email address. You could actually go perform this action and you can actually set an alert. Or you could wanna be away for a week and you might wanna not get back to a very messy inbox. So you could actually move your items from your regular inbox and you could put them into a folder if they contain certain headings or if they're from certain people. I'll let you customize the way you want your rules to be set for yourself. I personally don't really use this feature all that much. For me, I put an automatic reply for the week and when I get back, I spend 30 minutes going through my email, just sorting out everything. So the next thing I wanna show you is how to set this up on the Mail app in Windows 10. So down the bottom here, I'm gonna select the little Mail icon next to Outlook. And you can see we have the same inbox here. I'm gonna go over to my settings in the bottom left-hand corner. And if I look through all the settings on the right-hand side, you also get the option of automatic replies. We're gonna open that up. And well, it actually says that we're already sending automatic replies here. So I'm gonna jump back very quickly, turn it off in Outlook. But that's actually great because it shows you that if you turn it on on one account or on one computer, it's across all your computers or all your devices that use that same account. We're gonna scroll over to the Mail app again. On the left-hand side, you're gonna to go to the little cog that says Settings. It's gonna open up all your settings on the right-hand side here. And if we scroll down, you see the option of Automatic Replies. We're gonna turn that on. And here we can choose, if we have multiple accounts, we can actually choose which account we wanna set this for. For now, we're gonna set it for this Tech Tips account. So now we're gonna turn on Send Automatic Replies from Off. To on 
And then here we have the option of send automatic replies outside of my organization, send it to my contacts and also inside of my organization. I'm gonna copy this message here and I'm gonna drop it to the inside. So whether I'm getting emails from people inside my company, outside my company, regular contacts or random emails, they're gonna get the same notification from my email account. Mail app doesn't actually give you the option of choosing the time frame or the dates that you wanna put this in. But what happens when I select anywhere on the screen here, I'm gonna select just on a regular desktop. You're gonna get a little banner that says, you're now sending automatic replies from tech tips. You can either turn this off or you can dismiss the icon. So we're gonna turn that off and now we're gonna jump over to the web browser. So here you can see we are in Outlook on the web and to turn on automatic replies or out of offices from the web browser, again, it's quite simple. You're gonna to scroll to your settings, which are now in the top right hand corner. And instead of looking for where, where's the setting uh, found, it is actually found in your view all settings in Outlook. And then you go into your automatic replies, which is under mail, and then it's under automatic replies down the bottom here. There's a lot of steps there. I don't really like that way. What I recommend doing is on the web, you go up, you select on your settings option, and where it says search Outlook settings, we're just gonna type in automatic replies. As you start typing it in, it pops up there with automatic replies. That dialog box opens up and it says, yes, we're gonna turn on these automatic replies. We are gonna send replies during this time frame. So it's gonna be, again, we're gonna do it from now until the end of the week. And it gives you a few options here where you could actually block your calendar, make sure your calendar is unavailable for that week. You could automatically decline invitations from the web and you can automatically de decline meetings from the web. So one thing I do wanna note here is that we're using Outlook here on the web, the Outlook program and the mail app, and they all have slightly different features and functions that you can use. Whether you use them or not is up to you, but this is showing you where the different options are. The main takeaway though is how you can set automatic replies no matter what version or what program you're using. So I'm gonna paste in that exact same message again. I'm gonna make it look a little bit nicer. Thank you, me. So we've got the start and we've got the end date. We've got automatic replies turned on. Maybe we actually wanna block out our calendar for this week. This allows us to set the title of the event and this could be holidays. Um, we could automatically decline messages for that time and we could automatically decline meetings and cancel meetings for that period as well. I think that is actually a very cool feature. That's the first time I've actually seen that button. Um, so I might even start using that from now on. But anyway, we're gonna hit save, and now you get your notification saying automatic replies are turned on. And watch what happens if I jump over to our inbox. When I jump over to our mail app, even if we set the automatic replies on the web, the mail app actually still tells you you are sending automatic replies. If you jump over to Outlook, but you've set the automatic replies from the web, it actually doesn't appear in Outlook, but it is vice versa. So if you set your automatic replies in Outlook, it does appear on the web. Cool, so there you have it. That is how you set up automatic replies or out of offices on the Outlook program, Outlook on the web, and of course the mail app in Windows 10. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you really want to supercharge how you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.